the time is now. And don't ruin them. That's all there is for supper. And there's nothing left in the fridge. Do them yourself, then. I'm busy, aren't I? I'm trying to work out how much it's going to cost us to live each week. I mean, so much for food, so much for bills. Gas, for instance. We haven't got to pay it already, have we? Oh, no, these are old bills. They've been paid. I want to know how much to work out to put aside for when the bills comes in. My Andy always used to do it. See, £18.20. Every week? No, these is quarterly bills, 13 weeks, so that's £18.20 divided by 13. That's uh, 18.20 divided by 13 equals 1.4. Hey, up, £1.4. T pence, I know, I know, or make it look proper. Right, so much for the gas. Now then, milk. What's all this adding up to? We'll find out. Looks an awful lot to me. Just, just, just a minute, I'm totaling it all up now. I just could have put the uh, the milk on. That's three point oh six peoples. You've got it wrong. You must have. Oh, I haven't. You know. I wish I had. What are we gonna do? Telephone Mum and tell her we're coming to Birmingham. And live with your Uncle Bert? Not likely. But well, what else? It's obvious, isn't it? You've got to find... Uh, I mean, one of us has got to find work. Work? But if you go to Birmingham, Bert will make you work anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right, Grandad. One of us has got to get a job tomorrow. That's quite right, Michael. Now, look, tell you what, take this list with you to remind you just how much money we're going to need. Kid. Now look what you made me go and do. Well, what are you doing? Measuring, can't you see? Measuring? What, the football pitch? Have they got it wrong? <laughs> Not just the football pitch, the whole park. It's a new superintendent. Wants everything checking. Hey, these aren't yards. 
No, that's another thing. You've got to do it in metres now. We've got to be with it, we have, you know. <laughs> Here, go and hold the other end. Make yourself useful for once. Meters, 75 centimeters. That's it. 45.75 meters. Yeah, but you said 45 meters and 75 something else is. 75 centimeters. You see, there's 100 centimeters in a metre. It's like pounds and pence. 45.75 metres. You get the point? <laughs> the point. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Very funny. Yeah. Uh, next thing is, I've got to check and see if the same as it was when it was first drawn up. You hold that, will you? Yeah. Um... <clears throat> That's it. What's that? Conversion table. A what? It's to help me change the feet into metres. Oh. Now, uh, the pitch is 150 feet, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. 100 feet is uh, 30.48, and 50 feet is 15.24. Uh, what are you doing? I'm finding 150 feet in metres. Oh, right. 4 and 8 is 12, 2 and 3 is 7. 15, 5, 45.72 metres. 45, 75. Well, that's correct, as near as we can measure. Yeah, that's very clever. The next distance from this corner to the next. Right? Here we are. Oh. Hey, job for your day at this. Well, that's what I'm paid for, isn't it? Paid? Here, you shouldn't have to do this on your own. You need somebody to hold the tape. Well, I know, but we're short-handed, as usual. Do you mean to say that there's a vacancy for somebody to work here? Don't tell me you're interested, are you? As a matter of fact, I am. Well, if you want a job, apply at the office. Ask for Mr. Shaughnessy. Right, I will. I don't believe it. Michael. Oh, morning, Nettie. Oh, Mrs. Carson. I just popped round to see how you were getting on. Oh, fine. Has either of you two thought of getting work? Well, it has crossed their minds. I only hope it won't give Grandad a heart attack. Work? No, just thinking about it. Well, what's in that? Tools. Unless the moths have eaten them. Tools? Well, it so happens that I need a new cupboard in my kitchen. Fitted, of course. I like my things to fit. If you can get them big enough. Mm? Oh, I'm sure you're right. Well, I'll gladly pay for it. Oh, well, uh, in that case, I think I can help you out. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, you just show me what you want. It's got to be done properly, you know. This thing here, you young lunatic. I could have broken my neck. <laughs> Sorry, Grandad. You little. What's this thing doing here, anyway? I brought it down from the loft. It's your old tool bag, remember? You stashed it away the day you came here. When you became a gentleman of leisure. Yeah, yeah, well, don't worry about that now. I've got news for you. Oh? I have found a job. You have? Where? In the park. Oh, that's great, Grandad. You can start tomorrow. Hey? Ask for Mr. Shaughnessy and he will fix you up. Me? I told him he was young, bright and full of enthusiasm. Which is the truth, ain't it? Well, at least you're young. You? You got a job for me? Yeah. Aren't you gonna thank me? 
Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be pleased. Well, it just so happens that I've got another job. Another one? Hetty wants a cupboard building in her kitchen. There's a clever lad. You can build that in your spare time. Oh, no, I can't. And why not? Because I'm not building it. You are. Me? I told her you'd been a carpenter, more or less. You can start tomorrow by measuring up. Well, aren't you going to thank me? I mean, I can't do it. I, I'd like to, but I can't... I, I, please? This way, Mr Lucas. Now, this is where I want the cupboard to go, between the sink and the cooker, so that it fits the space exactly. <coughs> so what's the matter, Mr Lucas? You, you, you better send for, for the ambulance. Tell them I need intensive care. <coughs> what you need is a nice cup of tea. Oh. After you've measured up. Oh. <coughs> Right. You start by measuring this lot. Yeah. I don't think I can do it, Mr Miller. I've got this thing about figures. They go fuzzy in front of me eyes. Well, you ought to wear glasses. Another thing. Why'd you tell Mr Shaughnessy you wouldn't know an elm tree from a grandfather's clock? I was only being honest. Well, you wouldn't have got this job if I hadn't turned up what I did, would you? Yeah. Aren't I lucky? Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 and a half. Width, 19 and a half inches. Uh, be easy to call that 19 inches. Uh, you wouldn't like... No, uh, I wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. 19 and a half inches. That's 100 metres. I'll have to get the wood. Well, there's a builder's merchant in Cross Street. I'll get my purse and get you the money for the wood. But don't buy any more than you need. Understood? <clears throat> uh, yes. That's 48 metres. Good. Total, 148 metres. One, four, eight. Yeah. Now what? Got to check what it was before. Here, hold that. 469 feet. You have to find what it is in metres. See if it's still the same. You got a calculator? No, I got these tables, though. Well, where's 469? Well, don't show every number. Otherwise, the table will get too long. You look them up in hundreds, tens, and units and you add them all up together. How do you mean? Look, I'll show you. 469. You start with the hundreds, right? Here's 400. It's 121.92 metres. Right? Better make a note of that. Yeah. Next, we look up the tens. 60. Here we are. That 60 feet equals 18.29 metres. Good. Put that number down under the other one. No, not like that. Not... Look, you've got to put a decimal... When you write a decimal point, you've got to put it always under the other decimal point. So as we can add them up, see? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's better, that's better. Right, now, we've got the 400 and the 60. That leaves the odd nine feet, the units. Nine feet equals 2.74 metres. Good. Now add up 400 plus 60 plus nine. That gives you... 469 feet in metres. That's 142.95. Good. Call that 143. Over this distance, five centimetres. Well, it doesn't matter all that much. Hey, hey, it's not the same. We, we made it 148 metres. Are you sure them tables are right? Well, of course they are. Oh, it's five metres because when they enlarged the playground, they moved the path back. Still, we better check it again, just to make sure we're right. Hold on. Right.
What's the matter with you? Backache? Backache, footache, the lot. This work's killing me. What do you think it's doing to me? All the way to the builder's merchants for nothing. Eh? I measured it in feet and inches, didn't I? Turns out they're doing everything with this new metric system. <laughs> didn't you know that? Didn't think about it. Well, ask them to work it out for you. They got tables and things. Working out? Do you think I want them to think I'm an amateur or something at my time of life? Listen, if everybody else can do it, so can I. Look at that. Metric. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yeah. The trouble is, if I go and mess up all again, Etty's going to think I'm stupid. No comment. Well, Look, you've got your measurements in inches, right? Yeah, of course I have. Well, change them into centimetres. Can I? Ah. Well, uh, where's that leaflet Mum got from the shop? It's this bloom and common market causing all this. You ought to be shot by none of them. There you are. One inch is 2.54 centimetres. Does that help? Well, if one inch is 2.54, two inches is twice that, and three inches three times, and so on. What are your measurements? Oh, I've got them here. Uh, I, six foot eight. In inches. Oh, sorry. Six foot 72, 72. Oh, no, no, no. 80. Right. Eight, oh, that's inches, multiplied by 2.54 equals... 203.2 centimetres. Point two? Well, look at your measure. It's all marked out in centimetres. Look, 10, 20, 30. Go on, you need 200. Oh, there you are. 200. Yeah, that's two metres, in case you didn't know. You want 203. Oh, yeah. Right, and point two means two tenths. The little one's in between. Right there. Oh, I see. At least I think I do. Now, that is the height of your cupboard. Make a note of it. Yeah. 203.2. Oh, just for a centimetre. So we'll just put CM in small letters. Oh, yeah. CM. Now, what's the next one? Uh, width, 19 and a half inches. What? 19. Does it matter about the half? <laughs> you ask, Etsy. There aren't any halves on a calculator. It's got to be in decimals. Hey, hang on. A half is 0.5, isn't it? Always used to be, unless they've changed that as well. 19.5 well, multiplied by 2.54 equals 49.53. 0. 0.53? What's that? What do you mean? Five tenths and three hundredths, I think. Hundredths? I can't measure wood in hundredths. Nor can Etty. All you need are tenths. Tenths of a centimetre. Millimetres. So, call it 49.5. I hope this works out right. Uh, Ten metres, 97. Um, well, we'll call that 11. Yeah. 36 feet. Total 10.97. Yeah, correct. And six feet is 1.83 metres. Total 10.97. Yeah, that's correct. Listen, Mike, I've been thinking. You don't get paid till Friday, do you? If you need any cash until then, I could help out. Could you? So. Ninety nine point five. It's getting late, Mr. Lucas. I hope you're eating all right at home. Me eating? I forgot what it feels like. Ah. Oh. Well, perhaps I can do something about that. You can? Hey, it worked. What does? Take that, that width for our cut. Dead right. Millimeters, centimeters, everything. Even that he thought was good. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Hello, what's this? Dinner. Unless you've got any money. Money? Why should I have money? What about you? Me? I don't get paid till Friday. Oh, right then. <clears throat> oh, what does she want? Go and let her in. Oh, oh you left this 
on the table after dinner. Uh, after what? No, uh, well, I gave him dinner with George and me. Oh, he has got a good appetite. An old plate of chop smash and peas. Chop smash? Here, give me that. Yeah. <coughs> Didn't you get something for Mike, Mr. Lucas? Well, after all, you have had half your fee in advance. What? You don't get excited. I was going to mention it. Here, listen, you can have that list of payments back and you can save up the money. Yeah. Oh, no, let's look at what... Just a minute, what's this? Joe's calf, steak and chips. Yeah, well... If you have got some money, you've been scoffing behind my back. I saw of you. You double-crossing little devil. Well, what about you, you scoffing off? Here, here, I don't know where you get it from. Well, you ought to. I'll get it from you. You wait till your mother...